Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a sequel of a super old video that I did literally about two years ago and the initial video was how to get tan fast and in that video I am 14, there is no editing involved and I remember the day that was the seventh time that I had filmed that video because it wasn't uploading correctly so I was really rushing through it and then after looking at that video I realized I didn't really hit some key points that goes along with self tanning. So today's video is going to be how to self tan correctly. I have been all sorts of tan. I have gotten a spray tan. I do natural tan. I've never gone to the tanning beds because that is terrible for your skin. So I've come up with a huge list about when it comes to self tanning because there are so many things that can go wrong. Your hands can turn orange. You can have like flaky spots. You get all creasy. It can rub off on these like pasty white holes in your skin and it can be pretty disastrous. So along with giving you guys 15 self tanning tips. I will share also a terrible, terrible self tanning story. So if you guys want to see how to self tan correctly, then just keep watching. So the first tip that I have for you guys is know your brands because there are so many brands of self tanner out in the market, drugstore and high end. The one that I like to use is the Jergens Natural Glow. I have used it for so many summers. It's just the natural grow, natural grow, your plant, mm -hmm, it's fertilizer for your skin. This is the Natural Glow by Jergens, and it's just a daily moisturizer. You put it on your body and like over like five to seven days you'll gradually notice a difference. What's very important though is that you put it only on once a day and you have to realize self tanner, it's literally not going to be put on, oh my gosh, you're brown. The color does take time to develop and like seep into your skin. Rule number two is that you have to exfoliate before you put on the self tanner. I would very, very heavily advise that you do this after you get out of the shower and that you use a body scrub in the shower because otherwise you're going to have all this dead skin on your body and when you moisturize it with self tanner, that skin's going to turn the darker color and since it's dead, it's eventually going to come off and like roll off, like brush off, it's going to come off by like rubbing with a towel. So then you're going to end up with like all the dead skin coming off and then having like a splotchy of dark skin and light skin, which is not what we want at all. We want that perfectly sun-kissed glow, right? My favorite body scrub ever is the Mr. Bean Coffee Scrub. This is by far the best body scrub that I think I can ever, I have ever used in my life because one, it's super good for your skin, it smells like coffee, it's amazing, and then it also like leaves behind a conditioning residue on your skin to moisturize it after you get out of the shower, which is very nice when it comes to self-tanner. Rule number three is to moisturize before you put on your self-tanner. This is just a general all-around tip. I've been doing this ever since I started like self-tanning at home, and that's to get out of the shower, like I said, after you've used an exfoliant, a body exfoliant, and to moisturize your body head to toe, which is like plain, like Cetaphil, Sebamed, uh, any plain, just normal moisturizer. So you have an all over even kind of moisture to your skin so that it equip, uh, so that it equip, uh, so that it equip, uh. What did I just say? Did you hear that? What was that? So then you have an all over even moisture to your skin, and then when you apply the self tanner, it's going on like evenly and not too dark in places that need more moisture or places that don't need enough if you get what I'm saying. So it doesn't appear splotchy. Rule number four is to know your tools. For me, I apply it like with my hands normally, so I just put a little in my hand and I kind of like go up and down, like you know, like rub in like you would normal lotion. Another option to use is to use like a glove or like, like you have those like beauty gloves like I said, like the fancy ones come with so you don't have to get your hand involved. The other option is to apply your tan with a makeup sponge. At first you guys might be like, why would I use a beauty blender on my like body? Like that's not what I'm saying. Those disposable white triangular makeup sponges that you can get at the drugstore for like five dollars, like a pack of fifty, that are all come like the one block. Those are very nice to use for self tanning because it applies the lotion in like once again an even layer that allows you to not be streaky at all. Another tip with the makeup sponge is to make sure that you blend it out when it comes to your wrists and your ankles because people, you don't really put self tanner on your hands or like on your feet. So once you've moisturized, take that white sponge and kind of blend it, sorry for this, I was testing stuff, but kind of like blend it onto your palms so it has like an ombre gradient so it doesn't look like brown skin, white as heck. Number five, use Vaseline on your elbows, ankles, and knees because when you do use self tanner in those areas very heavily, since the skin is moving and bending all the time, increasing and wrinkling, the color tends to develop darker, so usually you'll see your knees are like super darker, like right here, super dark, in the creases of your skin, if it makes sense. So avoid those areas or use Vaseline so to kind of protect those areas from getting any self tanner on them. It's literally so extra, can we stop? Tip 
Tip number six is to make sure you fully rub it in. You really want to have an even layer of color to make sure you don't rub it too much in your arms, over your legs. Make sure they're the same color and once again avoiding your elbows, knees, and ankles. Tip number seven is to immediately wash your hands after applying so you can't give the lotion any time to develop onto your hands, therefore turning them orange. Because your hands is one of that area where there's a bunch of creases and it's folding constantly so the color is going to develop way darker like in the creases of your hand. And we all know that girl that comes to school, which this was me, um, really tan and then your hands are bright orange and you're like, did you self tan? She goes, no, like why do you think that? And you're like, girl your hands are orange so don't be that girl. Number eight is allow the tan to dry 100%. You really don't want to get into bed, especially me like with my white stuff. Even though it's not as bad as a spray tan, you just as you don't want to apply it to have it be drying and just like jump into your white bed. You want your your self tan to fully dry out until it feels like normal skin, like it's not like sticky at all. Number nine is to go to bed and allow the color to fully develop overnight. Like I said, it's not gonna be instantly put it on. You're brown! It's going to be an overnight while the color seeps into your skin and kind of develops evenly. Number 10 is to take a shower in the morning. This is more especially true for like spray tans, but just in case there's any like lasting moisture on your skin, you really just want to like rinse it off so there's no chance of staining anything that you own. Also, when you shower, do not use any super harsh soap that would get rid of your tan or exfoliate with like say a body scrub after you apply a tan because then you're just going to get rid of all the skin on your body that has now turned the darker color. Number 11 is a tip for prolonging your tan. Make sure to drink water and keep yourself healthy and hydrated. This goes along for like health as well is drink a couple glasses of water a day just to make your skin feel great. Being dehydrated is terrible for your health and your skin. Number 12 is to fix bright orange hands and you're like, ah, oh, what do I do? You can either use baby wipes or kind of a baking soda and water mixture, I think it is. It's a taste of baking powder can kind of help you exfoliate away the skin in your hands so it isn't as bright and in your face orange. Number 13 is to make sure you don't go too dark or apply too much and then picking the right shade. You definitely want to make sure you don't apply like three sessions in one. This is more like definitely once a day kind of thing to see a gradual change over time. And if you're someone that is light like me, don't go for the super dark to medium tan because it's going to be really hard to blend out, really noticeable, and you have a way larger chance of messing it up than you do a, a smaller and more gradual tan. And if you are dark, don't do a super light tan because it's not going to do much of a difference on you. And if you really want to see a difference, try to best match your skin tone. Number 14 is if you are going to do this and then go straight out, definitely want to wear more darker colors because A, if there is any residue of your self tan on your body, it could easily wipe off onto the clothing and then develop into a darker stain. I'm pretty sure it's easy to wash out, I haven't had any experience with that. And number 15, if you have patches on your skin that happen to be lighter or you exfoliated out by accident a little bit and you have a little bit of white patch here, is to use lemon juice to kind of diffuse like ombre the tan so it doesn't look as vibrant. Those are my 15 tips for self tanning. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below if you were subscribed when you saw my how to get tan fast video, which by the way has gotten so many views, like thank you. But at the same time, that's a little ratchet, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you want more like self tanning, tanning tips, like my spray tan experience, spray tanning tips, or if you guys wanna see my self tanning routine like in real life, just let me know down below, give this a like, and of course subscribe if you want to see more of me every week. Love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.